Welcome to Digital Toolbox. This tutorial is going to kick off a whole series of tutorials going through the build out of one building model. So we're going to build the architecture building at Cal Poly University. It's a medium scale, it's four story building, poured concrete. And for ease we already have the uh, AutoCAD drawings that we'll import and then use those floor plans to build our model off of. So you you don't have to build uh, an as-built building like this. We'll provide the a link to get these uh, CAD drawings so you can follow along if you wish. Or you could use the background bitmap tutorial to um, take a sketch of your own or some other floor plans or something to um, model your own building. But before we go into any model in Rhino, we're going to set up our layers palette. So you can just type in layers into the command line or by default it's up here on the right side of the screen. So this is the, the layers toolbar. It gives us a default layer and then five other layers, one through five um, by default. I'm just going to select two through five and delete those and <clears throat> I'll just delete the default layer. Ask me to delete it, okay. And then layer one, I'll select and then say floor one. Since this is a, f a four floor building, uh, we're going to have sub uh, some folders, one folder for each floor, floor one, floor two, floor three, floor four, and then uh, un underneath that f floor we'll have all of the items within their own different layers per floor. So we'll just have that floor one selected for right now, and now we'll import uh, one floor plan from our desktop. So we we'll go to File Import. Here I am on my desktop and file name is not selected. File type is Rhino 3D model so that's by default so we can't see any other files. If we just drop down the menu we can see all these other files that we can uh, import compatibly. So I'll just select all and then you can see all the files on the desktop. Here's Building 5 Floor 1 an AutoCAD drawing or DWG file we'll open that and here's all the information that was in that file I'll double click on the top viewport and here is all of those uh, lines that were in that file and you can see in the properties in the layers menu all of those corresponding layers so here there's information for there's a, a title block some room labels the room numbers, square footages, uh, an address, and then of course all the structural and uh, building elements, columns, walls, all that stuff is in there too. There's even hatches too. So to to kind of make this our our own and uh, make it easier for us to organize down the road when this becomes a large file we can just go ahead and figure out what we want what we don't want and rename the the fl the, uh, the layers to suit our needs so a wall is going to be all the walls so we can find that out by turning off that layer and seeing what happens or we can also right click and uh, select objects so that selects all those objects I'll just rename this walls. I like to type out uh, everything that's going to be in that layer. Here's the title block, which is just that name down there. We don't need that, so I'll just delete that. Delete that whole layer. There's a site, a floor, that seems to be the uh, staircases glazing, the sill for glazing, a, a grid that it's on, and then area. All these things. So I'll go in and rename these by just clicking on them and uh, selecting the selecting the names and then typing in my own name. And that'll kind of customize it for me. So that'll be it for this tutorial. Uh, look for the next one and
import your your own DWGs or background bitmap to follow along for the next ones.